Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. All right, 745 on this Wednesday morning. Ben, a lot of people have been paying attention to the forecast. Mm -hmm. And we're not out of the woods just yet because more rain is on the way for Thursday and Friday. Too. Yeah, not as nearly as much as we saw recently, yeah. thank goodness. But it's a shower and storm chance, which means downpours are possible. And given how saturated everything is, all it would take is one to mm. send a town back into floods. So we have to be extra careful even for the normal summertime thunderstorm chances. But for today, barely any rain in the forecast. Most of us will be dry. Temperatures 70s and 80s. Mix of sun and clouds and light and variable winds throughout the day. It will help in the cleanup process, which really gets underway today. This is some aerial footage from Sky 5, a chopper from the news station WCVB in Boston. And you can see all of the work going on in central Vermont to clear the mud outside of town. It's easy to forget that when the water settles in, it's carrying all kinds of sediment and debris, and that just gets deposited when the water recedes. So there's a lot of cleanup that needs to happen for countless communities across central Vermont, southern Vermont. Certainly our thoughts are with everyone who is impacted directly by the floods. Dozens of road closures still active this morning, but slowly and surely the blue dots are starting to disappear. In Richmond, we're happy to tell you Route 2 is open again, also the off-ramp by I-89. But unfortunately, Route 7 has closed down early today uh, between Ritchie Ave and Main Street due to some flooding. In new this morning, Pine Island Road and Mallets Bay Ave have gone uh, have, has closed down due to uh, water that has risen significantly in the past few hours. It's tough to uh, ascertain what the Winooski River is doing because we actually lost the gauge, the thing that tells us what the river is actually doing in terms of height. So we have to be extra careful as the river continues to stay in flood stage and it will thankfully go down as the day goes on. So for today, the rivers remain high, but they will be falling. It's dry, but more showers and storms will be possible over the next couple of days. The threshold for flooding, though, is very low, so stay alert for downpours. Futurecast has the mostly dry day today, but as we think about tomorrow, you'll see we start off dry, but then some showers and storms get here mainly after lunchtime. There could be a gusty uh, wind. Uh, there could be a wind gust or two about 50 miles per hour within these storms, but the bigger concern will be heavy rain and uh, again, the flood risk that comes with that. So it's Thursday and Friday. We're watching for impact weather and then Saturday and Sunday. We're it's a bit of a split weekend forecast Saturday, mostly dry Sunday, a chance for scattered storms. We want to get you out to the ground now with Adrian Pastor, who's standing by in Montpelier. Take it away. 